Hello everyone, welcome to episode 2 of World Overdrive Wrestling. So a few updates, I changed the product to telenovela. I think this fits my product better than skit based. So I basically just started a new game and just cloned exactly what I did before. And my show, it's rated a little bit worse. Uh, my scores are a little bit more balanced. Um, you know, this Jack and Jude segment got 37. That's pretty good. The Alina segment was a little bit worse. My attendance was worse. Uh, also, apparently, my main, you know, me, I don't, my guy doesn't really know English. So I edit, I edit it in the editor that he's passable in English. So he was getting penalized a lot. I also made a mistake last time in the Sam Titus match. I had Jason Patterson going over. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So the show starts with Alina walking around in her apartment. She's in her, her underwear, because why not? Uh, she's just walking around. And then we get a view of the outside on the rooftop of another building. We see a sniper rifle. And then we see a scoped view of it. And the scope is on Alina. So th this sniper is trying to snipe Alina. And we see his hand. He pulls a trigger. The sniper rifle fires. And we see this slow-mo, like the bullet going through the air. It goes through the window. It's about to hit Alina. And at the last second, Alina just turns back. She looks at... She sees a bullet coming and just holds out her hand and just stops the bullet with her hand. Just grabs the bullet. And then she opens she opens her hand and in her hand is a bolt is um is a note. So the bullet actually had like a note that exploded out of the bullet. And she reads the note. It says, If you want to know the truth, come to the location indicated. So after reading this note, she crumples the paper, throws it into the trash can. And as this piece of paper is going into the trash can, there's an explosion, World Overdrive Wrestling. There's a World Overdrive Wrestling theme. And as the theme is running, Terry Smith runs down the show. You know, we have an exciting show tonight. In the main event, Alina, this superstar, greatest wrestler in the world she will be in a match against a mystery opponent in a mystery match what will this match be and who will her opponent be Fi find out in the main event and later on tonight Frankie Flowater will have a wrestling match with Jazz Funk can Jazz Funk's creativity overcome the king of the ocean Frankie Flowater and coming up next after coming off of an impressive win against his best friend, Jude Atlas, can Jack Marvel continue his momentum and take another win tonight? It would be no easy t task as he faces off against Eric LaMonica. This match is huge and he will, you know, something about momentum, this momentum going into the future. And that match is coming up next. So before that match, we see Jude Atlas. He's in his rundown apartment. He's like really poor. And he's re-watching his loss to his friend Jack Marvel from two weeks ago. And he hears a knock on his door. And he goes and he answers the door. It's Sister Dahlia over here. And she's telling him that times are very hard. I know that you're going through hardships. But embrace the Lord. Lord Lariah will always be there for you, as long as you are there for him. Praise the Lord. Praise Lariah. There's a reason that things are this difficult, but if you put your trust in Lord Lariah, everything will work out in the end. And Jude is being polite, just entertaining her, but he's clearly uncomfortable. And he thanks Dahlia. I will think about it. Uh, I guess the Lord will be with you? Kind of, you know, he's kind of questioning it. 
So Dahlia, before walking away, she hands him a pamphlet to praise Lord Loraya. So as she leaves, the masked bad boss passes her. And, and he looks back, he's, you know, what, what's going on? And then he looks towards Jude's room and he starts walking there. And the scene ends. Alright, so the first match of the night, Jack Marvel beats Eric LaMonica. I don't really have much to say about this. So Alina enters the building, and June Allison catches up to her. You know, this is June Allison from the Overdrive News Network. So I had a question for you. What motivates you to come to World Overdrive Wrestling? So Alina explains that there's an unsettling mystery surrounding the masked bad boss in World Overdrive Wrestling. And for personal reasons, she wants to uncover the truth. And that's all that she will reveal at the moment. It's very, it's very personal to her. And then she goes on to say that she was challenged to go through a series of trials from the masked bad boss. And she understands this as a trap, but she was promised the truth from if she overcomes all these trials, she was promised the truth and she has no choice but to go through with these trials. And if the masked bad boss doesn't give her the truth, she says that she will pry the truth from his hands. So after the interview, she goes to her locker room. She pulls out the locket from episode one when the ancient hero was fighting the evil bad guy. And there's a locket that exploded. So she pulls out that same locket. And she says, this is not a match that I want to go through with, but I must. Father, please forgive me. But I must do this. I must have my revenge. So we see a, we see a picture of Alina on a punching bag, and Sam Titus is just punching this face of Alina. He's having a lot of fun. He's laughing. He's like, ha 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 ha! My next victim. What type of match will I take part in today? And the masked bad boss is trying to calm him down. No, Sam. Not today. That would be too easy. We need to instill fear in her. Her heart is still fearless. We need to have her learn terror. We need to have her learn fear. We will need to play, play with her a little, toy with her. In the coming weeks, we will terrorize her. And when she knows a power, the terror that is Sam Titus, when she learns the word fear, that is when you will fight her. And so Sam is complaining he wants to fight her right now. But the masked bad boss tells her, no, not now. But follow me. You may not have your match today, but you will have your fun. So here, Frankie Flowater, the king of the ocean, takes on Jazz Funk and defeats him. Uh, Frankie is one of the new guys I hired to kind of help bolster my lineup. Uh, so 30 performance, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So Alina is in her locker room. The camera, it's at her feet and just panning up. Just panning across her, her stunning body. And she's wearing a bikini. So she puts her clothes into a bag and she's again talking to her father in heaven. This is very embarrassing and I don't want to take part in this match. But I will not stop at anything to get to the truth and to deliver my revenge. And so as she says that, a gun turret just comes out of the wall. And it's, it's making a sound it's about to shoot. So Alina turns around, she sees a turret, and she jumps out of the way. And the turret starts sh shooting flame. It's, it's a flamethrower turret. And it burns her bag with all her clothes in it. So she can't, she can't change back into her regular clothes. The room starts to fill with smoke. And she gets up. She, she runs towards the door. 
And as she's jumping out of the door, the room explodes and she falls to the ground. And the locket falls a few feet in front of her. She's on the ground, she's hurt, and she tries to reach over to the locket. But as she's reaching for it, a hand picks it up. It's the masked bad boss. And he holds a locket in his hands and he tells her, this is what I'm after. And Alina is trying, is saying, you know, give, give it back, give it back. And Mass Bad Boss refuses to give it back. So Alina, who's prone on the ground, she tries to get up. She tries to get the locket back from the Mass Bad Boss, but she falls back down. You know, the damage that she suffered from the explosion, it's too much. So the masked bad boss says to her, complete the trials and you will know the truth. But I wonder if you're in the right condition to do so. Ha 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 ha. And the bad boss, the masked bad boss starts walking away. So the masked bad boss and Sam Titus are walking in the hallway Sam Sam is continuing to say he want he wants to crush Alina and he's questioning the bad boss's strategy and he's saying Alina will fall before Sam has a chance to get get his hands on her. And he's upset. Uh she he believes that she's not gonna be in the condition to fight to fight him. The masked bad boss assures Sam that Alina is okay. She's the greatest wrestler in the world. She's the toughest person. She will be okay. And Sam will be given the chance to fight her. So in the background, June Allison is running up to them, catches up to them, and is looking for an interview. So she, she asks Mask Bad Boss, with Alina in the condi condition that she's in, the main event is in question. She might not be able to compete. She's very hurt. She has burns across her body. This explosion dealt a great damage to her. So what will you do in the event that she's unable to compete? And the masked bad boss replies, I've prepared the greatest, most historic main event of all time. I've taken great steps to ensure that this will be the greatest match in the history of World Overdrive Wrestling. Uh, she's extremely tough. She's the greatest wrestler in the world. She will participate tonight. And she, it, she is okay. I can assure you of that. Uh, she won't let this little thing, such as an explosion, stop her. And then June Allison asks, We are just a mere minutes away from the main event. And we still don't know anything about it. We don't know... We know Alina's going to be fighting, but... Who is her opponent? What type of a match is it? Can you shed any light on that? So Mass Bad Boss just asks the fans of World Overdrive Wrestling, you will see what type of match it is. Be patient, but know that her Alina's opponent is extremely talented and very powerful, and she specializes in these types of match. The match, uh, she specializes in, in these types of matches. So Alina will have her work cut out for her. And you will indeed see that this is a match worthy of the main event, worthy of the greatest main event of all time. That is all I have to say. And he starts leaving. He's like, Sam, it is time to prepare for that moment. So the greatest main event of all time is a bikini match between Alina and Joyrider. And the announcer, Terry Smith, keeps putting over Joy Rider, saying how she's undefeated in World Overdrive Wrestling. She's 1-0, so sh she has the best record out of everyone in this company. And she's the toughest opponent that Alina can face. And she specializes in bikini matches. And, she, and he also talks about how Alina's hurt from the explosion. She's not 100%. That she's the un underdog because she completely is. 
And throughout the match, masked bad boss is there. He's distracting Alina. When she's trying to run the ropes, he just grabs onto her to her legs. And at one point in the match, he attacks Alina, and orders the ref not to not to DQ. And to just continue the match. But in this greatest main event of all time, a uh, five minute and forty three second bikini match, Alina overcomes the odds and wins against Joy Rider. Capping off the, the greatest, legitimately the greatest match in World Overdrive Wrestling with his 50 rating. So after the match, Mass Bad Boss just goes into the ring and starts attacking Alina and just beating her down. Uh, so once Alina gains her bearings, she fights back and she's able to gain the upper hand. And as she's gaining the upper hand, as she's getting her offense in, Sam Titus comes out of nowhere and attacks Alina from behind. So he just attacks her, she falls down to the ground, and he sits on her back and does a camel clutch submission. And the mad bo- masked bad boss is standing in front of her, saying, well done Alina, you have passed the first trial, and as promised, and he, he holds out the locket in front of her. At this point, Sam Titus releases his hold on Alina, and Alina is just lying face down on the mat. And Mass Bad Boss, as promised, Alina passed the first trial, he has to release information. He has to tell her the truth. And he tells her, My goal is to seek out the lineage of the ancient hero, and all of my investigations led to you. And I am seeking this knowledge of the ancient hero's bloodline. And to, and to do that, and to do that, and to figure out ancient hero's bloodline, I will need to shed the ancient hero's blood. For now, that is all I, I have to say. Uh, prepare for the second trial, where more of the truth will come out. I wonder if you will come. Ha 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 ha. So Alina is just on the ground, she's hurt, she's not moving. And the masked bad boss and Sam Titus get out of the ring and they start to leave. And so midway up the ramp, before they actually leave, Sam Titus pauses and he looks back at Alina and he tells the masked bad boss, you can't stop me. And masked bad boss looks back at Sam and he says, I won't. So Mass Bad Boss leaves and Sam Titus gets back into the ring and he starts pummeling Alina again. Now, Alina who's kind of hurt in the middle of the ring, he continues to attack her, power bombs her multiple times, leaving her unconscious in the middle of the ring. And Sam Titus is just like pounding his chest, like ha 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 ha. And the show ends. The show ends with that image. Alright, so the show was, I guess, pretty decent. The main event was a smashing success. Uh, 38 overall rating improved my popularity. It's not a great show, but not a bad one either. It it did everything it needed to do. Uh, So, at any rate, I'm going to get crushed by my rival QAW I think their shows are in the 50s and 60s so I am going to lose the regional battles and I'm going to be losing them almost every time for the next little while but you know this is a kind of the Alina experiment having Alina carry my entire show and I think it's working pretty well Um, I don't know how I don't know how much this is going to help Alina. She's only really had two really good segments. Uh, The sex appeal match, I think, works pretty well. I might... I may continue doing that, but not with Alina. She's she's going to be in some serious storylines. So I think Alina... 
did a fantastic job. Told her awesome. Uh, Frankie was pretty good. Uh, praise for a great performance. And Joyrider. Main eventer Joyrider. Point out it as a good example. So I will put these three people over. I think they're the only three people that are deserving of it. So I kind of hope that at some point Sam is going to get more popular. I might just hire a second monster, kind of a monster brute, just for the ratings. So we will see. Alright, so that concludes episode 2 of World Overdrive Wrestling. And as you can see, my balance sheet is not very good. I gave myself 50,000 to start because I think that's pretty realistic. But I'm losing a lot of money. Thanks mostly to my production. So if in several months time I'm still bleeding you know, 10k a month, I might have to drop production just a little bit to semi-pro instead of pro. So yeah, thanks for tuning in and peace out.